Hello my friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Corridor Design series. In this video, I'll be showing you how I created this flyer inside of CorelDRAW. Right? Before we get started, if you've not gotten your Smart Designer Premium Asset, it's still very much available. Don't miss out on this experience of getting these premium templates at an affordable rate. If you've not subscribed to my channel, now is the best time to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any videos I'll be dropping any time for now. Without having to say much, let's get started. So the first thing I like to do is click on File and I'll click on New. So just make settings here. For the name, I'm just going to change it here to Social Media Flyer. I'm using a 2020 for Corel Draw. So if you want this version of Corel Draw, you can get it in the link in the description of this video, right? Great. So having done all of this, I'm just going to click OK like this and it brings me into the interface. Double click on this rectangle here to create this rectangle, right? The next thing you do is click on this white, to fill it white color and come up here and choose none for the outline, right? Now the next thing I like to do is very very simple and easy right so i'm just going to draw a rectangle here like this and um, i'm going to fill it with a black color like this and i'm going to remove the outline again just like this so um with this selected i'm just going over to where i have my first image now the link to download this is inside of um it's in the description of this video so you can do well to get yours also so i'm going to be using this image a couple of things i want to do click on the transparency tool i'm going to drag from white to black so i can fade out this part here All right and um i haven't done this let me move this closer and i'm just going to go over to bitmap and convert to bitmap like this and everything stays the same click ok when you're done now go to transparency click on the first one and i'm just going to bump it up to make it more transparent like this and i'm going to power clip it inside of this rectangle like this so click on edit and i'm just going to move it upward like this Position this here like this and you're good to go. Make this bigger, position this well and click on finish when you're done. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is simple, bring in this text tool like this, drag and drop inside like this and um, click OK. I've already typed this out, I took my time so we won't waste time. Uh, I'm designing this flyer for a very long period of time. So what you can do now is now ungroup it, move it downward, and um, I'm going to ungroup it, and I'm going to use my shape tool to make sure I sh um, I don't have too much spaces in between the letters, pushing back the letters like this so that I don't have too much space. okay so i don't have too much space right bring in the next image which is this one here drag and drop and this is just a logo so you can use a logo of your choice it'll use a logo of any choice and but this is a logo that i choose to use so i'm going to draw a rectangle here with my um, rectangle tool i'm going to give it a red color Again, remove the outline or come up here and remove the outline. Select none. I'm going to click on the transparency tool and I'm going to click and drag like this from white to black. Right? From white to black. And I'm going to transparency and I'm going to change the blend mode from normal to screen to create this nice gradient like light effect. Right? Great okay so having done that next thing i'm going to do is go over to gradient to g for gradient and just press g and i'm just going to make this red 
I'm going to drag this all the way to this point here so that I have this blend of gradients. So I have more black instead of red now. Go over to my resource file again and I'm just going to bring in this image here. So I'm dragging, I'm dropping like this. But it's too big, that's the problem. So zoom out so you can see things well while you resize it like this. Okay, easy peasy. And um, good, I'm just going to drag it inside of the page like this. And, but we have a major problem. You can see that this image, this is the exact um, position we want it to be. But you can see that it's coming out of the page. We don't want that. So go over to your crop tool, select only the area that you want visible in the image. So I'm going to select only this area like this. When I'm done, I'm just going to click enter or click on crop. And voila easy peasy so yeah i can move this using my arrow key to the edge like this i select all of this and um, make it slightly bigger right you can see how this process is easy and um, smooth right so um, the next thing i'd like to do is go over to my rectangle tool like this and i'm just going to draw a rectangle like this this one should be thinner i'm going to give it a red again always remove the outline all right so with this one i'm going to control page down to take it behind this image make a duplicate copy of this and i'm going to expand this one here and um, bring it inside like this so i'm going to select the two of them and move them downwards like this move it down move it down I'm using my arrow key holding down shift key so um again i type this out so i'm just going to bring in the inquiries which is um a text that i use i'm going to make it slightly bigger and i'm going over again to resource file to bring in the next thing which is the contacts so you can take your time to type this out the font that i use for this is the galano grotesque right you can get the Galano logo text inside of the smart designer bundle right so you can get this with many premium text inside of that bundle that bundle is packed with goodies right so um i'm going to make use of this like this the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going over to my rectangle tool i'm going to draw a rectangle here give it a white color make sure to remove the outline like this I'm just going to make this smaller like this and of course select this to um, not selecting but make sure I select select the text select the rectangle and move it downward a bit so that you don't have too many gap in between right so great you can see that we are almost done with this just some minor corrections Click on effects, adjust, auto adjust, let Courage Draw do its work. It has adjusted it automatically, but then I still want to adjust it my own way. So click on adjust and click on hue and saturation. Like this. And I'm going to bump up the saturation. Just um, add some few more to it and we're good to go. Close this up. And um, one last thing I would like to do to spice this design up and um, click on your pen to click once here and click double click here to end it. Now change this to one and select this particular one here. Right click to make it a white color and this is what I want to achieve. Right, Ctrl C, Ctrl V to copy and paste. I'm going to bring this one down here. Select this one also and control page down. But before I press the control page down, or better still, I'm sending it back so that it's not in front of the hands. I go to object and convert it to curve like this. Um, you can do that twice. Okay, good. Um, selecting the two of them, control page down send it to the back you can see now it's behind the hand 
so that's exactly where i want it to be right nice and easy so um real estate flyer created inside of coral draw so i'm just gonna adjust this and uh, make it slightly bigger and that's all i need to do all right guys this is how i created this flyer inside of coral draw if you've liked this video make sure you are uh, subscribed to my channel and if you've not subscribed now is the best time to do that don't forget to like share i'll see you in the next video